Hey everyone, uh, this is Dr. Daniel Kaimov here at Precision Pain Medicine, and I'm here with Dr. Yesenia Aronova. Hello. So we are going to talk a little bit about platelet-rich plasma, or known as PRP. Uh, we'll have a short conversation, try to clarify certain concepts, uh, questions that often we hear from our own patients, and hopefully uh, make a better understanding of what this process is about. Hi, Dr. Kaimov, can you tell me a little bit about who's a candidate for PRP? Okay, so in terms of, we, this is a very frequent question that we hear, who are the candidates? A patient who is, um, has an injury to somewhere in the extremity, for, for example, uh, various tendons either in the elbows, in the shoulders, in the ankle, in the wrist, and an injury that uh, either slowly is healing and just not getting back up to normal, or not healing at all. Those patients are the ideal candidates for this treatment. Um, obviously, um, more advanced injuries, which if we do pick up, uh, in those cases, uh, they may, may not be, but it's a case-by-case -case basis. So we would get an MRI and really get an understanding of the extent of the injury, and then we can make an assessment. Great, um, and what does this procedure involve? Okay, uh, in terms of expectations for the procedure, so what we do is uh, the patient comes in, we make sure that uh, certain medications that may interfere with the platelets are stopped, uh, usually about a week before the procedure. Uh, patient comes in, uh, we prepare the uh, area where we will draw the blood, uh, prepare it sterilely, and it's a sterile technique that's used. We extract um, a certain amount of patient's own blood then we process the blood in a special centrifuge where we separate the platelets from other blood components. Um, and those platelets are basically injected to the area of the injury. And we typically use guidance, uh, either most often ultrasound guidance where we live can see the area of injury and we can inject the platelets into the area of injury. Or okay. Can you tell me how this procedure is different from other injections that we do? Okay, uh, so in terms of other typical injections we do may involve uh, the use of steroid or um, the use of various medications that may or may not have some side effects. Uh, what's different about this is this is a natural treatment. It's um, we're taking someone's own blood, we're extracting their own platelets, and we're kind of harnessing the power of their own body and just directing it to the area of the injury. And this is in many ways natural because normal healing process is just uh, guided to, to a body part that's just not healing fast enough. So that's a, a huge difference from what's typical. Also, uh, in some cases, um, surgical interventions may be avoided. If a patient is able to heal um, and may avoid uh, a certain surgery that was planned. And what the So doctor, what is the recovery like? Okay, so with the recovery, it's actually pretty easy. Uh, because this is not a surgery, the patient is very mobile and back to normal uh, immediately. Um, uh, sometimes there is a little bit of an achy sensation after the injection, and that's the inflammatory reaction which we want. So we tell the patient to ice intermittently the area. Other than that, it's normal function.